thank you so very much for tuning in i appreciate hope you are doing fine please if you go, if you come across this video please i beg you for one thing i beg you with so whatsoever you hold there please help me to tag more they were happy to turn all pan africans help me to share it like this thing really need to be treated yes this thing is really because we really need to enlighten people more about this thing you can't even imagine the kind of damage we can the kind of in fact please this thing is very very is a is something that we need to talk about there is this clip here that you're going to watch now listen to it attentively and don't forget to share don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe to it please please do me well by sharing by tagging anyhow you will do it so that people that have the numbers can see it thank you so much. what are some of the reasons why you left the church one the role christianity and the church played during colonization and slavery in the year 1493, Pope Alexander VI asserts rights to colonize, convert, and enslave. For those of us that love crusades, you might want to check the original meaning of the word and what happened during crusades. For those of us who won't check, know they were not gathering and praying, worshipping the Most High. They were unaliving your ancestors who refused to convert. Two, the fact that the Bible, the Word of God, literally has an owner and no, it's not God. The British crown, Eliza actually owns the copyrights to the King James Bible. The Confraternity of Christian Doctrine, CCD, owns the copyrights to the New American Bible. If you look more into the CCD, you would find that they are an organization or a program that was set up by the Catholic Church. So in actuality, the Catholic Church owns the New American Bible. When I say it's the book of the white man, you guys like to tell me how it's not, and it's your book. I don't see you owning the copyrights, huh? When you have a copyright to anything, only you can make changes because you have the rights. So if you guys still believe that your book is the word of God and it's not being controlled by man, okay. Three, the fact that I cannot be Christian and be 100% African because Christianity demonizes everything African. You go to church and you want to get baptized, they have to change your name, give you an English name. Everything and the ways of our ancestors, culture, tradition, practices are barbaric. So you literally have to move as far away from your Africanness as possible to be Christian. And uh-uh, mm-mm-mm, I refuse to be pushed away from my true identity. Talking about how Abraham is my ancestors. Reason number four would be the multiple layers of lies surrounding the identity of the Lord and personal Savior. Like, can somebody tell me why the story of the birth of Jesus is so similar to the Egyptian god Horus? And why is his name Jesus starting with the letter J when J in the Hebrew alphabet is just a couple of years old? Because originally there was no J in the Hebrew alphabet. Then they came and painted him white, even though in the Bible, he was described as someone who has, you know, a darker complexion. So it's giving confusion, stolen identity, perhaps. My deconstruction journey started when I was still pretty young, younger. And funny enough, it started in the church. So my mom used to make us all go to those weekday programs, you know, three days, you know, all night stuff, blah, blah, blah. And I noticed something while I was in church. I noticed that it was only the people who were not very well doing that used to go for those programs. While the rich only goes to church on Sundays. So at like 15, I was already thinking there is something seriously wrong with this setup. Because if prayer truly was the key, why haven't these people's prayers not been answered for years? I know it's worth sharing. Yeah, and I believe you helped me to share because, you know, quite uh, as in so many things are confusing us and being that we africans our history has been taken away from us if as we know nothing about our history i thank god for people that are now going places like Rodewaya and others going places to find out some of Mazin and Kano and name them that are, that are traveling going to different places asking questions because african doc documentation is one challenge that we have so i really beg you please share this video so that those people that have you know the influence the number and all that can actually help us to find out the the truths and in fact create awareness more awareness to africans 
I think it will go far. Thank you so very much for sharing in advance. Bye.